fell in the pit. Well, I wanted to uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys so yeah, what's before up? we get too far away from the whole microbial discussion. Yeah. Uh, did you see they discovered a new type of tardigrade in a Japanese parking lot? Dude, I am all about tardigrades. In a Japanese uh, parking lot? Yeah. What were they doing so, in the Japanese parking lot? Looking for tardigrades, man. They know where to look. Wait, they're, who's they're... they, Johnny? You got to give me more. Yeah, who was looking for tardigrades in the Japanese parking lot? Japanese scientists. <laughs> that should be good enough for you. That's all right. a safe what, what did they conclude about? Are you really going to know like the program at the institute Wait. they work at in Japan if I go and look at it? No, up no, right no. Now? Please don't waste the time to do that. Can you yeah. give me one cool uh, Japanese I'm not, name? Wait, I mean, I could pretend when you look it up, I could be like, oh, the... Uh, actually, the, actually uh, it was a research team from the university in Poland. Oh, that's not so, as exciting. Bam. All right, there you go. So they for anybody who doesn't anyways. know, a tardigrade is also known as water a bear. water bear. Yeah. Right. Um, it, just Google tardigrade, the image search, and you'll find it's a small little thing, but it has like these like tiny little legs and little so, eye things and head things. Yeah. Those are the two big ones, I think. So yeah, the, the whole free will argument. So let's say cause... you take this evolutionary perspective where you have ocean creatures and they, they change with the environment and over time, um, certain ones crawl out, right? And then become whatever. So we buy that whole thing. Where along that progression, let's say you want to think humans are these like creatures that can choose. They have free will. I can either go here or go there. I can do something or not do it. Um, where along that continuum did we, you know, suddenly get it? So do do orangutans have it? Yeah. See, that's the that's where it gets. It gets hairy. It um, gets literally hairy if you're an orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, because and that's what I've always asked people about, like reincarnation, because it's like, well, that what do you reincarnate as a human every time? Like, if I'm a bear for a thousand generations, do I grow enough to upgrade, or is it, do I like team up with something else? Like, is it two bears and an eagle and a pig as a human? And do you have like, like vicious you get, bear <laughs> memories like buried in there, like controlling your human behavior? Yeah, yeah, or it's like because because otherwise you can't keep coming back as an eagle because eagles evolved from something before that, and what just when it t started becoming an eagle, that thing wasn't allowed to right. reincarnate. And, and at and some point, like, do, you, a, do you come back as like a, a single cell bacteria? Yeah, exactly. So it's like, do you you have to upgrade with the progress then? So it's really hard to hold the evolutionary perspective in mind, but at the same time believe in things like oh, humans have a soul. It's like, well, do dogs, do cats? Oh, they do. So there's pet heaven. Okay, we'll take that. How about uh, right. guinea pigs? Oh, guinea pigs are a pet too. They have their horses. Yeah, yeah. They're... So there's all these like horsey, guinea pig, doggy heavens. But then it's like, yeah, how about a snake? And, and they're like, no snake heaven. You know, snakes no are snake awful. Heaven. They're evil. It's like, oh. They're sneaky. Where so are they're, they're just biology alive? that is alive and then dies. So that is possible. You know, and... and Drawing a line there is just like I don't I don't see a space where you can actually draw a line. That's why I conclude that like uh, I'm not going to try to draw a line. Maybe there is no soul. Maybe yeah. there's nothing. Maybe we're just meat robots acting out our programming. You know. Well, even if there is like free will, you know how how much is it really up to you? Like how much are people just even just cultural things to just affect you like oh i'm gonna go get a job and get married and get a house like somebody that does that that doesn't want to actually do that yeah but they never figure that out you know you just go through like so did but they like was that free will like they just followed their programming but they did all the things right it, it, and even when you do follow your urges and decide i decided that like what decided that it was your your as you like to call it your wetware meat brain so it's like, yeah, of course that wanted to eat this or go there or do these things. Like, was that really me deciding or just my my? Did you say was that really like me deciding? Convincing me to make these decisions. Right. So was it and me or me part deciding? Of the... And Johnny, the real question would be: Is the feeling of making a decision simply, you know, some emotional state that that becomes part of my mind? But I didn't actually make the decision. I was just acting out my program. Well, that's predeterminism, right? It's like well, everything it's from the beginning of time is predetermined, right? So, like, you have a, a concept in, in just philosophy, I, I suppose. But determinism would be that 
you know, the universe had a beginning and then the laws of physics are simply acting themselves out as, as time moves forward. And it's like, okay, but in that, in that scenario, even though we can't explain every moment of every state of quantum state of every atom in the universe and how it's behaving, the point is it is statable and that, that the universe is just deterministically acting out, run, running out its its programming. I've, and there's no room in there for free will unless you're something that's called a compatible. But is there room which for means free that will? you yeah. say free will exists on top of that. But where's free will? I think the common manifestation of this <laughs> is because people don't <laughs> people don't is. think about their daily lives in these terms. But the common manifestation is when people, you know, they say, oh, it's God has a plan. That's something people use to like justify yeah. tragedies or and stuff. Like it's that's part of God's plan. somebody God's that's addict. somebody adhering to yeah some determinist bullshit. I mean ideals by being like you know. Yeah, oh, but I'm not know, entirely unconvinced plan, by that. Know? Well, that's a determinism, but also with a determiner. You know, whereas determinism right. can also just be the natural, you know, outgrowth of the laws of physics without any creator behind it. You know. Joe, this whole conversation yeah. came up as a as a sort of um, bounce back from like, you know, you, you look at like these deep ocean creatures and there's just no sense of life behind their eyes. Even a shark, which is in like pretty shallow con considering like it just does its programming and there's nothing. And then we were talking about like, how do you draw a line anywhere from that to snakes, to monkeys, to humans, like to dogs, yeah. like in cats, like, you know maybe maybe it's all just a slippery spectrum and i think that's what disturbed me about being yeah. reminded of these deep sea creatures i'm like i thought to myself last night before